I'm aboard a DeFever 44 yacht, trawler yacht, in Jacksonville, Florida, and showing a quick and simple tour of the engine room. First, let's start with that background noise. There's the water pump that pumps the seawater through the strainer into the pump, and then the pump goes into these different air conditioning compressor units up here. So those are the Freon or refrigerant compressors that actually cool the air handlers to air condition the boat. Looking back to the starboard side, you can see this big hydraulic system right here. This is for the NIAD stabilizers. And here is one of the heads for the stabilizer right here. These are known as active fin stabilizers. And they move back and forth. You can see this shiny hydraulic ramrod right here. That's what moves back and forth. This big piece that I was leaning on is called a sea chest. The sea chest means there's only one hole in the bottom of the boat to pick up cooling water. This is the port engine, the starboard engine, the generator engine, and the air conditioning water pump. So all four of these pickups come through this tall sea chest. You can measure this. It's about 12 inches wide or 12 inches square and has a viewing port in the top which will be great when you're in the Bahamas or the Florida Keys. So that's where all of your seawater cooling water comes from. While I'm over here you can see we've got this large electric water heater and then the Perkins 130 horsepower diesel engines. Six cylinders, 135 horsepower, 130, 135. Looking in the back, you can see the red diesel generator, Westerbeek. And all the way in the back, you can see the fuel distribution manifold. The top half is for the return fuel. The bottom half is for the supply fuel. If you want to learn more about boat systems, join us in Florida for Introduction to Boat Systems Seminar held in Vero Beach, Florida. Learn more. Ask Captain Chris.